Hi guys, I wanted to do a quite an in-depth review of Flat Out for Total Insanity. Is it Insanity? In, yeah, Insanity. The game yeah, is definitely not made by Bug, but it is another like called an independent developer, you know, whatever they call. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm a good reviewer, aren't I? I'm brilliant at this. But at least they've got the main bits right, where you've got the cream or the uh, the flat out mode and single player where you can do the stunts and all that but first we'll go straight into the main one where you're on where you want to just play which pretty much everyone wants to play is the main one the main like cream or the racing and smashing the game money to progress and it has that the same stuff as the other where you know you get ten thousand dollars or credits there's like limited cars to get so you can have, have an old uh, called hatchback car or a big car. Um, the money, and you can upgrade the car if you have some change left. And um, so I got the little kind of Herbie um, love bug, Volks Volkswagen Beetle. That was what I'm trying to say. Because if I get that, so I've got a bit of cash, I can upgrade it. You know, get a uh, faster engine, better suspension, steering. Neutral boost and some other stuff I can't remember. So once you, I got into the gameplay of it all after the loading screen, which I think are quite long to be honest. The racing it does take a a while to get used to because I mean the racing mechanics are okay. You'll go stop and some of the steering, um, especially if you're on tight corners, in like a little hatchback, the car. It, I'm certain it's rear wheel drive because when you're going in the corner, even if it's a dirt track or a tarmac, the back end wants to always constantly to skid out and drift. And I think it messes my mind because usually hatchbacks, like your little hot hatches, like your Fiestas, your Corsas, Clios, and little Fiats and all that, nine times out of ten, most of them are just front wheel drive. Well, this car it feels like a rear wheel drive, which is weird, and I thought, is this the game itself? Is the steering a bit weak? Like, you know, are there all the cars like this bit floating? So after I did that, I went and just did a just simple, just a quick race, and at this time I just tried like a, a stock version of the big Cadillac, the other car, which is a big car. And it looked like it doesn't have the drift, it actually handles a little bit better. So at least in a different variety, it's not all kind of the same. But all in all, the steering is a bit. Mm, hit and miss but you have to, you can get used to it it's like trial and error and you will eventually get used to it and another thing while racing is the AI opponents are absolutely bonkers will you be racing and like I know like, like in the other flat outs like on uh, like Ultimate Carnage yeah they'll smash you but they're, they're quite wise like, trying to avoid you and that but on this I thought I'm uh, flat out four. They could go away. Mm -hmm. oh, just it, that's what I can just describe is just bonkers. Where you're just like, gee, you just got you got behind your guard. You constantly have to like loop behind you and yeah, you know, because if they come, they'll just boom. They don't care. They will just come and just smack you. So like on them, it's like it's definitely not the racing. They just want to just kill anything in sight. At least I like how they've. Done like with original flat out with the debris on the road is still the same if you smack lap posts or cones or tires or just wooden debris like advertising boards on the road, they will stay there and can cause you hindrance for like hitting them like oh good skid. But there's a few moments, particularly one track, the very first one, where for some reason I managed to get around this corner and I've managed to the majority of the race lose the pack and I'm just like miles ahead from the park. And there's two occasions where I was on this little straight bit of road before I come around the corner. And it's a quality flat, yeah, it's a, it's a bumpy, like, dirty, dirt road. But it's flat all of a sudden. The car just flipped for no reason. And there's nothing, there's no debris or any rocks, it's just a thing down. And I'm just flipping. There's a few times the physics are a bit weird where you just flip in that, like, where you don't feel like it should flip. Um, like some of us, like I said, like if you're hitting cars and that, sometimes you're, the phases look a bit weird. You're like, whoa, you know, there's really weird stuff going on. When you're hitting a car, or someone hits you, you're, you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you get smacked, you're gonna go flying off somewhere, but not 
literally flying kind of thing. It's too bit. Hmm. And the music, you know, I'm not good on here, obviously, because of copyright. It's okay. It's not as good as previous proper ones like Flat Out 2, Ultimate Carnage. But they do the job. It's rock, and, it, and rock does kind of work with this. No high muscle music, boom, smash and all that, it, it works. But I have to say though, the graphics on it are not the best. And all like it's not a big, like like an EA game, it's like, whoa, frostbite, amazing. But you know, it's, it's, it's 2017 this game was released, and the the graphics were like, um, like from 10 years ago on the PS3 or the 360, it's just, they're not really nice and crisp and that like there's just real nothing just stands that's just bland it just feels like I'm just playing this game like on a PC on low settings it just does not feel really uh, nice in a sense but it doesn't matter when you're racing because when you're racing everything's kind of blurry so it does not matter you know if you're going fast in the details but when you when you get past the loading screen onto when you go start the race, you have like a button to start, but the camera pans around showing you the tracks and oh there's a corner, there's all this. And it doesn't look nice because it's going slow before you start the race, it's showing around that you show all the the bland details. But like I said, if you get that in your racing it doesn't matter because you're going fast. It, it really doesn't matter, but that's all negative I can say because the tracks, some of the tracks are okay, not as good as the originals, but they do the job, you know. And once I am progressing through the pre mode, it's exactly the same as previous ones where you just, you know, win races as high as you can, get points to win the like, usually they call the lead group of that section to go to the next one and unlock it and once you unlock that which is like the class one which is like the old bang of rust cars eventually then if you do all of them you can unlock like the kind of racing car class which is like the cars are a bit more cleaner and you get the best ones with the old like brand spanking you fast like your old cars but I didn't get to that point I only got um well to be honest I only did one cup which is the beginner's cup where um it's just one. Um, what was it now? I can't remember exactly. I completed the first little section, which is like the kind of. There's just two races in it, and then you get to the next part. And that goes on to the second cup in like the Bangers kind of series. And they did well up until the last point, where, to be honest, it kind of really. I uh, kind of like. Not rage quit the game, but it really put me off the cream or were. Basically, yeah. The second race, yeah, you get your two normal racing when it's like you can hit cars to get extra money. You know, if you little moments where it's like, oh, I've hit someone hard, I've done the fastest lap, you can get extra credit. If you finish top, you get more. Yeah, that was fine, but I think there's the, the third one, which was the last, yeah, the third one, which was the last one. It's a different mode. They have this, like, they have weapons, and that's what spoiled it for me. It's a bit like um, Mario Kart's are blur. Do you want to get racing in blur? Now I like that game, that does have the weapons, but that's designed to have that, that has, but it has it because that's how it's designed where you can like shoot cars or drop mines or you know, and all that kind of stuff. But on a flat out game, it just, it just doesn't work because flat out supposed to be like a kind of almost realistic banger racing, but this, this kind of took the shine off it work. Um, there's more where you have like magnets, if you find your hand, there's like a big magnetic bar, if you throw it on someone, it attaches to them, but it attaches like a bomb on them, and eventually it'll hit them. And there's one where um, I think there's like a big uh, lightning bolt, so if you hit it right, everyone around this so called vicinity around you flips or explodes, I'm not sure. And then I think, oh, was there another one with a big. The ground bomb with spikes, kind of shot at the back of me, the front, and it hit someone. Let's mix it with another game because I did play another kind of game on the computer, which was like a cheap 50p game off Steam, um, an Android phone on PC, maybe called like a trucking game like that. I can't remember. The stuff like that, and it, and it was just too hectic because what well, annoyed me was in the previous two races before this finale, I was taught because I came first in them races on that one. It just ruined it because everything's going off and it was 
really hectic. You're driving all sorts of boom, boom, boom. No, everything's smacking and flying. You're trying to drive, and someone chucks a freaking bomb on you and blows you up, and you just, you know, you, it was just so hectic because people are distracting you, chucking bombs on you. I was in this like kind of forest thing, so nine times out of ten, because I'm getting distracted by all this crap and just destruction and mental stuff. Not just me trying to shoot people, I couldn't because everyone's going hectic, I was missing everyone anyway. Back out to like ten shots, I was looking to get two hits on someone. Most of the time I'm just smacking into trees or again pop the blow explosions or whatever, catching fire, getting shunted. I'm getting flown into the forest, I'm just smacking trees and eventually I think there's three laps and I'm, I'm I'm not joking, I think I just passed this, the first lap was on second and my car was wrecked because of the amount of crap and that. So then I just finished last and it ruined it so the majority of the game I was top, I was like first and then I ended up finishing like eighth in the series and just went zoom, straight down. And to us that just killed it for me because I thought this is not flat out, it's not a flat out game this stupid shooting and stuff. It just it just did not feel right to me because it, it I just don't feel like it had a need for it. Like I said, I like games like that, like Blur and all that. Is it Split Second or something like that? It was something like that. Um, and, um, oh, I was over on the Need for Speed game, Hot Pursuit. Like the, the remake of it on the 360 and PS3. That kind of worked with this stuff. You can put spy strips and kind of stuff like that. But this, it's just did not feel right for me and, it just, and I just thought, nah, I'm not playing anymore. But it has that. That's going to be hard because I could do so well in the racing mode, which is hectic enough because, you know, they're just trying to kill you genuinely anyway, anyway with cars. If you're on this and there's just people just blowing bombs and just crap and insane stuff going everywhere, no, you are not got a chance. So I turned that off and then I had to calm down and I thought, well, we'll try the other modes flat out and the stunt modes, we'll try them out, see if it can save it, and thankfully, it does. So, the flat out mode is kind of like, um, kind of another Cree mode in itself, but it's more, not as serious, it's more laid back, chill, and then more enjoyable for me, it's enjoyable, but there's different sections where there was one where there was, um, what was it? oh well the first one, Actually, it wasn't even a good start to me. It was a destruction derby, and it wasn't as good as you know the ridge like in the previous prop ones where the bumper made it, like the um, uh, ultimate carnage and flat out two. But this, this destruction derby was actually quite enjoyable. But on this, it's the same again. Where it, it has these ethical modes where you can repair yourself. It's yeah, okay, but I think it's the same stuff again. We can like. Disable people, you can freeze people and stuff like that. I think I have this stuff, but because it's so hectic, like I said, people just smacking into you and it just does, doesn't feel right. And like I so said, the physics are wearing it, so you just go flying and sh stupid mayhem. By the time I see, like, oh, there's a little, you know, there's something there, like a weapon or a healer, I'll go to it. By the time I do it, I'm just boom, I'm getting T boned and it's really just hectic. So I just couldn't enjoy it because you're just trying to. Because you're scared to stop because, yeah, if you're stopping a game, yeah, you might get shunted. But unless you're just like, if you stop, boom, you're dead and then you, you spawn back in. Because it's on this, on this mode, it's like how many wrecks you can do. It's not points by hitting people. I think it's just, you have to basically just smacking people and as soon as they explode, you get points and that. And miraculously, on the first one, even though I didn't enjoy it, I somehow finished. First time I got about eight wrecks. Or I was at 10 marks, something like that. I, I somehow, luckily, smacked into enough people to get a gold. There's a few others which was like, meh, kind of those that beat the bomb, which I weren't too bad at. Luckily, weren't. You just, it's just like a time trial. You go around the track and it's like, you've got 10 seconds to get to the checkpoint. So, what you have to do is when you're racing, you have to smack into debris, which earns your neutral boost. I just said that uh, in the pre mod. If you destroy destruction stuff, you get a boost. And you can use that, you have to be constantly just going faster and faster and faster on the track before the time runs out and bores. And I was meh, okay, I managed to get a bronze. 
So I did that, and then I'm trying to think what else was there. There was other stuff, which was kind of like the stunt mode stuff, which was the, was a lot better. I'm trying to think now because uh, I think for the stunt modes, because they're both in different categories, they're in flat out mode and quick race, they are quick mode, where you're like in a big indoor arena, and this is the one which is the most part I enjoyed, which was like the original flat out two and ultimate carnage where you have that big playground and you can do the high jump and stuff and it had that stuff and some new like creative game modes which i really enjoyed doing there was um what i was surprised i got at was like a beer pong where like you go you hit uh you, the car goes on that called ramp with a big big booster rocket pack car and you get that point it slows you down then you have that whole gauge bar to shoot you shoot your character out so you have to go and there's like be your pong where you, you go and you have to do that bounce and then go in one of the cops and you know what, actually them actually did well bounce and go into the cop so i didn't get a goal because i didn't get like the main high point but i in silvers and i was actually half decent at least i was getting in the cops and then there's other modes where you're playing like a savuti or football or soccer thing where you you basically shoot your character into the main aim is to get into the cons because it has these little um, kind of like sickle circle paper you have to hit hit him in the corners but you've got a little keeper just sliding and he will move he sees you going that way he will go it's not just a constant doing that and you have to time it he will come and like knock you off and stuff so that was all that was a nice one and then there was um, like these kiddie wooden blocks we have to shoot and knock them over and if you get the right ones over there's little uh, TNT landmines if you hit them it explodes ex it's like an explosion flies over the other blocks into the other this kind of castle fortress and knocks them down you have three goals of them each and each game mode has three modes with, like three attempts to get highest points to get at least a bronze to unlock stuff and unlock over levels and then they had a I didn't play them all I'm just trying to think of the ones that I did play there's a golfing where you can you play golfing that it's called kind of like a pitch and pop kind of thing. Try and dunk your your player into there. There was um a little golf, not golf, just that I mean pool. You use your character smacking at the balls into the hole. I got a few, didn't get a I don't get a medal, but I got a few, so put a few balls in, so yeah. And um what else was a skip skimming stones? I don't think I played that. I'm just thinking off my head. Them saved, or like saved me from giving it a slate and calling it crap, because up until that point, that stupid little weapon mode thing in the cream mode, that really, really, you know, just knocked a few points down. But the stunt modes and the little extra modes raised it up, and the count give a say on the multiplayer because it's just non-existent I've tried and tried at least just get one person but put anything any race anything and just nope no one on which does not surprise me so all in all the game if I had to give it so out of 10 stars we'll say all right, just to mark out a 10 I'd have to give it in the middle of five, five out of ten, because like I said, the racing is okay. It's not as it's not on point to the original flat out with the guys from Bubba. They tried the best, but just do not replicate it. The physics are just weird. The AIs are just arseholes. <laughs> like, which it, they should be, but it's like kind of par like on the games like you know Grid. The other ones are just. They just, they just want to massacre you. So it doesn't feel kind of realistic. It's like, yeah, you want to shrink you out of the way to raise. They just, they just want to kill you. I wouldn't. That would have. I would have given it a higher score, like the racing, than I would have if it didn't have that stupid weapon thing. This stupid like Mario Kart shooting bombs and putting magnets on people and throwing grenades and stuff. Because it just really killed the experience of what a flat out game should be. But, like I said, the the extras, the flat out mode, the stunts really put the bar a little bit higher. Were like, just on its own, if I've just had to rate 
the mod on its own, the the stop modes, I'd actually give it I'd give it a seven out of ten, to be honest, because it wasn't dead perfect, but they were still enjoyable. And that's it, and I'm gonna end this review now because I'm just repeating over and over again. But yeah, it is just another mill racing game with flat out stuck in on it. It definitely has the it definitely kind of stays with the kind of the premise or the tradition of a flat out whereas the menus the same, you have the same modes and all that. Including the weapons mode. But because of different people making it, it just does not have that feel like I said. That's it guys, so thanks for watching and I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks for watching guys and take care.